All right, what's going on you guys? Welcome to Ramadi Hub again. I'm your host, Dr. Jota. And today we will be talking about pretty much FC Barcelona for obvious reasons. I mean, they got eliminated from the champions and yes, it's a major disaster. And why is that? Because nobody, after signing the best players in the spectrum, after signing a bunch of people that really could help them out to get out of this kind of situation, right? That they got into last year when they didn't have the good players that I think that they need to face off the future. Now that they have those players, they weren't even able to qualify for the knockout stages of the Champions League. And that's pretty bad, man, because something is going on. I mean, somebody's doing something really wrong, right? And yeah, I'm specifically a Real Madrid channel, but in this case, I want to talk about Real Madrid, but just through FC Barcelona and the bad example when it comes to bad management. And this is the case of FC Barcelona, because what happened last night is not a coincidence. I mean, they've, they've been doing the things really bad the last two years, but not because they had bad players. It is because they have a very specific idea about football that is no longer working. And they are apparently the last ones in learning it. I mean, they want to play in a very specific way, right? They are, they call themselves Griffistas. They have to follow the rules of Johan Cruyff um, like 25, 30 years ago when he built up a super team with super amazing players in a very um, specific way to play and stuff like that. But the thing is, all those Madridistas, we've been warning them about that and we've been telling them, hey guys, this is, I mean, this can be done as long as you have very good players on the field. And what happened in 2008 with that FC Barcelona, with Leo Messi, with Andres Iniesta, with Xavi Hernandez and all this stuff, it happened because they were very good players. I mean, it was a very unique generation. And I mean, they could afford to do that. Guardiola could afford to do that because he had great players on the field, right? But not anymore. They're not here anymore. And the problem is they don't want to acknowledge the fact they don't have that players anymore. So you have to change your style. You have to change everything. You gotta try to figure it out and say, okay, we, we have to do the things in a different way because this is clearly, clearly not working. I mean, all these games in La Liga, when they win, I mean, 3-0, 4-0, stuff like that, they literally walk over the rivals and a lot of people from the media saying, oh yeah, we're back, we're doing a great thing, we're, we're, we're back, we're great again, we are bouncing back, stuff like that. And to me, it was kind of, no, you're not back. You have to prove yourself. You are able to walk over a Champions League team with a Champions League level, you know what I'm saying? So that is the thing. And every time they have faced off Champions League teams like Real Madrid, um, whether it's Inter de Milan, whether it's Bayern de Munich, whoever it is, they've lost. They've lost and we've seen it. And they've lost because they're not ready to go. I mean, the good news is they've just signed up players that will build up a very big and good team. Honestly, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm okay with that. The players, players like Lewandowski, Rafinha, uh, I mean, I, I believe they are very good players and they have leveled enough to build up a super team in the near future, right? But we're not, I mean, we're not there yet. I mean, they are not there yet. We, they still have to wait. The problem is they've been selling everybody out. They've been scamming their own supporters that they were already there. Not that you're not really there. You get away a little bit more. I mean, the good things take time. The only secret for success in the case of Real Madrid and why we are winning pretty much every single game, why we are winning the champions, why we are winning La Liga and all this stuff is because we have a bunch of players like Karim Benzema, Tony Cruz, Luka Modric and others who have been playing together for years. We're talking about years. 
How many? Five, six, seven? I don't know, but these guys know each other perfectly. In the blink of the eye, they can build up a game or the play a super quick and sharp play. Nobody else know and score a goal and win a game in, in about five minutes or seven minutes because they know each other, right? So that is the difference between Real Madrid and FC Barcelona. And the problem is they don't understand. And now it's not only that the problem with Barcelona is now they're going through a very, very critical financial situation. You know what I'm saying? So all the millions, all the money they will, lo they will lose just because they didn't qualify were millions they were in need of because they had to pay a lot of stuff. I mean, you got to keep in mind the only way for them to sign up players it was selling assets. I mean, a percentage of that, not not all. I mean, not a hundred percent of that, but they had to sell the ninety percent of um, one asset about uh, Barcelona Television, and then the five percent of um, another stuff, and and the ten percent of that stuff, in order for them to gather the money and sign up players. There was no other way around. I mean, just selling assets. So that is the way they did it. The problem is if you get eliminated from the champions. We're talking about millions you cannot collect just because you're out. And now, even if you go through the different stages in the Europe League, even if you hit the final, even if you win the, the, the trophy, even if you win the, the Europe League, you're not going to make, make the money that you really need, right? Because the, the, bigger, the biggest price, I think, in the Europe League is about, I don't know, I think it's maybe 14 million. 14, 15, something like that. They've just lost 20 million for not qualify for the next round, for the 16th round of the champions, 20 million. 20 million is a lot of money. And it's not only the money in prices, it's the money you're losing, is the money you're missing for all the international world attraction that you get every time you go through the final stages, when you hit the final, I mean, all the world, literally people all around the world, from all around the world are watching you. And that is potentially sales, that is um, engagement, that is feedback, that is your name is out there and everybody knows that and everybody knows you and that's money. Ultimately, it's, it's money for you. So, I mean, what are they going to do now? I don't know, man, but the, the situation is really critical. But let me, let, me, let me point out a symptom why FC Barcelona is in this situation. 12 hours later, after the defeat against Bayern de Munich, I haven't heard yet about the possibility for Xavi to be sacked. I haven't heard about it. I mean, I didn't even hear whistles after the game, I mean, you've just lost 0-3 against Bayern de Munich in a very humiliating game where Bayern de Munich walked over you and they didn't even hear the supporters, the fans whistling and booing and all the stuff that happened in Madrid. When Real Madrid really plays really bad, the other day, oh my God, the other day, um, we played really bad against, I, I can't recall, um, so the last game in La Liga, that we played against, um, oh, I can't remember. Anyways, we were not playing okay, right? And we were down in the score. Let, let me check it out really quick because I can't recall who we played against. But I remember we were, um, I think it was, oh yeah, 1-1. One, one. It, it was 1-1, one, one, right? And um, and people started to whistle to, to drama the players because we were not playing okay. We were playing really bad. And that is when the other two goals came up. But during the time we were in a draw, 1-1, people started to whistle to the players. That is the big difference between Real Madrid and, um, and FC Barcelona. People demand a lot of stuff from the Real Madrid players. We're not okay with everything. And I'm talking to you when we are topping the standings in La Liga, number one, and we are... Um, and I mean, not well, I think it, yeah, we are in the first ones in the, in the group stage in, in the champions and all the stuff, man. And the people 
if they still have to whistle at us and boo at us, they will. They will. I mean, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. And they know that. You know what I'm saying? So, man, I mean, that's the big difference. I don't know right, right now what they have in mind, right? Whether to sack Xavi or not. But to me, they should. Because he is the, the main responsible for this. You know what I'm saying? It is not about the players. They actually tailored a team for Xavi. I mean, specifically for him. With Robert Lewandowski, who, I mean, who is a great, great player. One of the greatest strikers ever, right? Robert Lewandowski and then Rafinha and then Ferran Torres and then uh, the other one and the other one and the other one. A bunch of players, man. And you're not able to qualify for the 16th round of the champions? Oh my God, that's so bad. And somebody should take any responsibility or something, I think. I don't know. I don't know what are they going to do, man. But this is really, really, really bad for FC Barcelona. And let's see how the, how the I mean, how they get through this and, and see how they get out of this situation because it's really, really bad. So that is basically what I had for you all, guys. It's pretty much about FC Barcelona because right now it's the most important. All the people around the world are talking about it and the way they got eliminated. And yeah, I mean, there's nothing, there's not anything new about Real Madrid. I mean, as you know, the thing with Hendrik is very in advance talks, in advance negotiations. So to me, it's going to happen at some point, and, but anywhere um, soon. I mean, I'm pretty sure of that. And Bellingham is, is the same thing, okay? Something is going to happen before the World Cup of Qatar. So Real Madrid will have everything ready and wrapped up really, really soon. And I'll keep you posted, of course. So, guys, now comment in the section below. And of course, subscribe to my channel, Real Madrid Hub.